I love a good challenge. I love something that's gonna be as equally mentally challenging as it is physically. And I think this is gonna be that thing. So at the beginning of this year, I had this crazy idea. It's October at this moment. And this is like the first weekend that it feels really, really, really good. I had this crazy idea to come to our local track at A.L. Brown High School and do a 50K. Uh, for those that may not know, a 50K is like 32 miles and something. But a 50K on the track is 125 laps. 125 times around. A little status update, 25 laps done out of the 125, which means I have 100 to go. I'm a fifth of the way there. And I did it in one hour and like 30 seconds. So I produced a video a while back about scaring yourself, pushing yourself to the limit. I've been in seasons where the idea is more terrifying than the actual action. To give a little status update, I'm on lap 40 of 125, one hour and 45 minutes in to consecutive loops around the track. Nutrition is uh, super important when doing something like this. Going back and looking at a lot of my old previous videos, either on my YouTube channel or my Instagram feed. You know, a lot of these videos, I would love to say they're for the viewers, but they're honestly for me to go back and watch. I wanna continue pushing myself and where I wanna be proud of where I'm at, I don't wanna stay there. Contentment and complacency are really things that I'm really trying to avoid. You know, I believe they're fine for a season, but the fear is when the season comes into another season and another season, it's now been so long since you've stretched yourself or scaled yourself that it becomes harder to motivate yourself than it actually does to do the challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this guy. Put my leg on. Uh, huh. Mile 20. Mile 20, you have how long left? Uh, 12 miles to go. Yeah. So what are you going to? Oh, 32. Okay. I realize that a lot of this is the fear of failure. Some of you may say well, that being scared at the beginning prepares you and where I strongly agree with you. For a majority of people, that's where it stops. It doesn't move past that point. And that's what I don't want. Status update. It's been a while since I've recorded anything. Uh, stomach, major stomach issues. Um, that I've had to work through. Haven't been able to get the nutrition in. So for me, myself, I never want to get to that place where I'm paralyzed or that I don't actually do it. I want it to be terrifying enough that I prepare, but I still have the confidence and drive to get in there, swing for the fences and see what happens. So status update. It says 124 laps. Six hours and 50 minutes in, over 31 miles. Honestly, the muscles and the ankles feel really good. Like, I arms feel good, shoulders feel good, nothing's cramped, nothing's too tight. Uh, definitely for running on a track, round in circles for seven hours, yeah. And that's like, I have not stopped my watch. So that's like getting snacks, getting, going to the bathroom. It's been a good time. So I've thoroughly enjoyed it, but I am glad that I did this. So a little backstory behind this adventure. I didn't decide to do it until the morning of. I didn't want to give myself too much time to psych myself out, to overthink it. 125 laps around a track just sounds terrible, but I didn't want to overthink it. See, the reason for this is I want to do another 100 miler. See, I've done a 50K, I've done a 50 miler, I've done a 100K, and I have attempted one 100 mile run. 
and I reached the 89 mile mark and I could not continue. But I want to hit that 100 mile distance. And at this moment, it's probably more mentally terrifying than it is physically. But I just wanted to remind myself that preparation is important, but overthinking and psyching yourself out, that's what I need to avoid. I hope you've enjoyed this video, but until next time, adios.